In in other gaming news, uh, Twitch.television, the website that everyone knows and loves, had uh, has a new streamer on the block. A uh, new streamer on Twitch.television. And uh, you may be familiar with them. You may not be familiar with them. Uh, you know, let's find out. So, Matt Gates did a stream and uh, only got six viewers on his first uh, Twitch stream. The congressman's chat was filled with vulgar ASCII images left by detractors. So he had six viewers and uh, they all were trolls. All right, well, um, Republican Congressman Matt Gates announced last week that he would be throwing his hat into the online streaming ring and starting his own Twitch channel. So far, his peak viewership has been six. Growing a community on Twitch is not easy. According to data from Sully Gnome and Twitch Tracker, the top 1% of Twitch streamers have an average of... The top 1% of Twitch streamers have an average of approximately 20 viewers. Yo, I'm in the top 1%! <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm in the top one! All right, everybody, as a one percenter, as a one percenter, I'd like to say this. Uh, Matt Gates. You shall not pass, motherfucker. The pores, get them the fuck out of here, okay? I better get a tax cut for this shit, man. Holy shit, I'm in the top 1%. The users pulling in tens of thousands of viewers each stream are the platform's top 0.1% and account for more around 74% of the total watch time on the platform. That's crazy. That's crazy. That being said, Mr. Gates has an inherent advantage over a 16-year-old hoping to stream their Dungeons & Dragons campaign or their latest video game speedrun. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck is this article? Why are you harassing my people? He's a congressman. Theoretically, he has a baked-in audience. Mr. Gates has 1.7 million followers on Twitter, but it appears that very few, at least at this point, have followed him onto Twitch. He has about 1,600 followers on the platform, but anyone can follow an account. Subscriptions and viewers are what counts toward monetization on Twitch. Those who have followed him to the streaming site don't appear to be fans. Vice News reports that after his inaugural live stream on Thursday, a 30-minute chat uh, touching on the Capitol riot, right-wing conspiracy theory subject Ray Epps and wokeism in schools with former Trump speechwriter Darren Beatty, Mr. Gates left his chat running while he was offline. What does that mean, left his chat running? Anyone can type in a chat when it's offline. Anyway, um... This is common for Twitch streamers. Many will allow their chats to stay active when they're not streaming. Is that it? Can you disable that? I don't even think that that's even possible to disable. Like, I, I'm not sure. Maybe they added that as a feature in the last couple years, but I don't, why would you? I don't know. Anyway, uh, and some continue to participate with their communities offline. However, Mr. Gates viewers took the opportunity to slam him and leave vulgar ASCII images in the chat, including many depicting male genitals. Can't have that. Some chat users also brought up the sex trafficking investigation that focused on Mr. Gates, which prosecutors have since reportedly declined to pursue, calling him a pedo in the chat. The independent has reached out to Mr. Gates for comment. Based on the symbols used by the chatters, it appears most of the people mocking Mr. Gates appear to be fans of leftist Twitch streamer Hassan Piker. Mr. Piker is one of the site's most popular streamers and noted Mr. Gates' addition to the platform on Twitter. Quote, this is certainly what we needed on the platform, Mr. Piker wrote sarcastically. Um, Mr. Gates' account retweeted the post with the message, I agree. Thanks for tuning in, Hassan the Hun. Don't forget to subscribe. Mr. Piker took the opportunity to change his Twitter name to Gates Pedo FBI Investigation. Ensuring that viewers on Mr. Gates' Twitter page would see the name if they saw. I love how people write about this. I love when boomers write about, like, online, like, Zoomer antics. And, um, so, there you go. <laughs> We're already on to you, though. Child predators use Twitch to systematically track kids. <laughs> oh... Anyway, so there you go. Mr. Gates, uh, well, not doing so well on that one. Needs uh, to up his promo game for sure. Uh, but in this article, I have learned that uh, getting 25 to 35 viewers on Twitch, which is my average, it puts me in the top 1%. So, um, 
I'd like to say that, uh, you know, it's great to be at the top. Um, and, uh, it's great to see you all. So, uh, you know, and I can't, you know, I'm looking down from my ivory tower. Oh, you know, you're like ants, you know, it's great to see you. Um, I'm going to go get my binoculars so that I can see your faces a little bit more clearly. Uh, but anyway, there you go.